Society was founded in 1991, and ever since then we've played a critical role in the community. We're an all-volunteer-based organization. We don't have a paid staff, and all of our animals stay in foster homes until they can be adopted because we don't have a shelter. And one of the things that makes us unique compared to other all-volunteer organizations is that we rescue both dogs and cats instead of focusing on just one or the other. The value in having a foster-based organization is that our foster parents know the personality of our pets. So if a dog does well with small children or a cat prefers to be an only pet, we know this about our animals and so we can use that information to match them with the perfect adopters who will love and care for them forever. Our organization depends on donors and volunteers and both are critical to our success and really determine the impact that we can have every year. By far our largest expense is medical expenses. In a typical year we can spend $85,000 to care for the animals that we rescue and only a third of that is covered by adoption fees. So we rely heavily on fundraising and donations to make up the difference. All of our dogs are fully vetted before being adopted and that can include spay neuter surgery, vaccinations, microchipping and heartworm testing, as well as heartworm, flea and tick preventative. And while most of the animals that we adopt are healthy, some require extensive medical care. And that can range from four to $700 for heartworm treatment to up to $2,500 to treat a, an eye condition. When you first see him, like you know that his eyes are foggy and like there's something going on. And that really didn't turn us off. You know, we, we knew it could be different, but um, we, we fell in love with George and didn't really mind. You know, we didn't know what the long-term situation would be. And um, so they had told us when we first met him that he wasn't quite up for adoption yet because they were still working out surgeries and what that was going to mean and how much vision he might have left and that kind of thing. He had another surgery to go through, like they had figured out that they could salvage some of the sight in his eye if they removed the lens. And so um, I actually took him to that surgery and like our greatest bonding actually was when he was recovering from that. And I remember we had like five different kinds of eye drops that I had to give him and all this, but he, he and I kind of built up a real kind of trust bond over that in that first like couple weeks trying to help him recover. And uh, so he's kind of been my buddy ever since. So like, wow, if, if you had like a whole buffet of dogs, you know, and that was like, I might not have picked that, but having done it, like it was a really awesome and rewarding experience and I'm glad I did it. And unfortunately, some of the dogs that we rescue have been neglected or abused and require rehabilitation before they can be adopted. You know, we get the dogs in and, and we don't know a whole lot about them. We put them in a foster home and then all these little quirks start coming out. And so what we would do at that point is um, contact a trainer, see what the dog's needs are, and get that dog into training to try to correct it so it becomes adoptable. Now those costs, um, the last training that we did is $2,200. That dog's doing exceptionally well in its, in its new home. It got adopted. So the training does work, but again, it's expensive. No amount is too small and every donation is greatly appreciated and gets us one step closer to fulfilling our mission, which is to rescue as many dogs and cats as possible and place them in loving and forever homes.